He would say things like, and how is the um, that new crop you put in by Mr. Clark's cottage? You know, and how is the drainage going on such and such a field? He was absolutely directly in contact with everything going on in his estate. So it is no surprise, really, that he was alive and awake to the possibilities of improving land and improving the yield from his land, because that was key, obviously, to keeping the house and the family and everything else going. And his time in Holland revealed to him that turnips were a very productive crop and would work in Norfolk, similar type of land, and that sheep, of which the estate had many, many, would be a, a prime asset, as would the turnips that they loved to eat. And so he introduced turnips into an annual crop. And the annual crop of turnips slotted into a rotation of, and this was his idea, also gathered from the Low Countries, not verbatim, but he worked out that barley, clover, wheat, and turnips would each have an effect on the soil which contributed to the richness of the land. (laughs) 